So in this video, I'm going to discuss uh, the best citizenship in every continent. So I'm going to cover all the continents and I'm going to provide an assessment and analysis on which I feel is the best citizenship, um, the best passport and also why. Before we get started, if you're new, my name is Jay and here we discuss investments that lead to residencies and citizenships. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you are updated on the latest news as it happens regarding any of the CBI programs. Now let's first take a look at uh, North Americas. In North Americas, you have the US, Canada, and Mexico. Um, my number one pick out of these three countries is gonna be Canada, and specifically Canada because it does give you almost all the access that the US PATS passport gives you. Also, uh, it gives you access to the US, and the rating is very comparable, almost the same rating as the US passport. So it's a very strong travel document. Canada does not have the citizenship based taxation. So let's say you move to Canada, you get the Canadian PR, you naturalize, or you already have the Canadian citizenship, or you get it through um, your family ties. Then um, once you move away from Canada, let's say you, are, you have a global lifestyle, you don't wanna be stuck or controlled by any one particular country, you want to break your ties, but want to keep that solid, lifelong, strong passport, then Canada uh, it offers all of that. And it is in the North Americas, it gives you access to the US. So Canada is my number one pick in North Americas. The second would be the US. Again, US shines as compared to Canada when it comes to you know the, the amount of money that you can make, the amount of opportunities that you have, uh, and a lot of other things are better in the US. But when it comes to that whole citizenship-based taxation factor, a lot of people uh, are bothered by that and because of which they look to renounce. So, um, so considering that, I would pick Canada as number one. The number three would be Mexico. Mexico is a decent passport. It's a very straightforward uh, option for a lot of people uh, who are very interested in getting the Mexican residency, which then leads to citizenship. Mexican uh, residency is one of the fastest and the simplest and the easiest one to obtain. So Mexico is on number three. The Mexican passport does not get to the US, but it still is nonetheless a very exotic passport. It has some unique access around the world because of which I really feel it's a powerful travel document. Now, if you look at uh, Latin or South Americas, my number one pick would be Chile. The Chile passport is quite exotic. It is the best passport in that region. It gets you to North America, very, very respected and very powerful document that you can obtain. Now, Chile does have a way to obviously get the whole naturalization done. You start off with a temporary residency. Now, this temporary residency is considerably easier and you know it's kind of quick. Uh, and that's the easy part. But once you have this temporary residency, after a couple of years, you can obtain the permanent residency, but that's where you have to prove a few things. Once you prove a couple of things on that temporary residency, then the path become e becomes easy. Then you can, you know, obviously maintain the permanent residency and work yourself towards that Chile passport. Now, um, the residency requirements used to be quite flexible on the permanent residency in Chile, but with so many people uh, applying for this and so many people, uh, you know, the, the citizenship being so desirable, now they are uh, looking for residency on that, you know, physical residency once you are using the permanent residency in Chile. It's not a very, very easy option overall, but once you get through it, the passport is the best passport, in my opinion, in South or Latin Americas. Now let's move uh, to Africa. In Africa, my the favorite option or my you know my favorite pick would be South Africa. It does, and the reason why I'm picking, I mean, there are other countries and other passports which might be better, but I'm picking South Africa because if you know uh, if someone really wants a citizenship in the Africas, it does allow dual citizenship. There is a pathway to South African citizenship. So that is the reason why I feel that's possible to do. 
Um, now, if you are interested in exploring uh, the South African option, you want to know what it is. It has a very flexible residency option as well. So initially it starts off with a very flexible option. And then towards the end, um, you have to obviously put some efforts in and then you can work yourself towards that all important South African citizenship, a very useful option, a very convenient option. It gets you in the Africas. The passport is not very bad. It's still okay. You know, it does have some unique access, which is very useful for certain people. Nonetheless, it is in the Africas and you have some connections. Uh, uh, the connectivity uh, by flight is also pretty good if you're looking at that region in particular. Now, if you look at uh, the Middle East, my favorite pick over there would be Israel. And Israel, because obviously the passport is world class, really a very a solid and strong travel document. It is possible to get the Israeli citizenship. There are ways where you can obtain this. So that makes it, uh, and again, in the Middle East, you have very few options. Turkey has a program, not for everyone, not a whole lot of uh, fan following for that option uh, around the West. So it's good for certain people. Certain people don't like it, don't want to do it. Uh, so, but Israel is the number one, according to me, in that region. If you look at uh, Europe, then uh, my favorite pick would be Ireland or Portugal. Portugal has the golden visa, again, coming to an end. Uh, it's a very long-term process. It's not five years. It's more like eight to 10 years. Uh, let's say 10 years to be realistic, um, closer to 10 years. So not a very fast passport by any means, but nonetheless, it's a very good uh, travel document. Uh, it is one of the best in uh, the European region. Ireland, I would put Ireland before Portugal uh, because it gives you access to both. You know, you have that movement uh, within the UK and then you also have the EU. So, you know, it's kind of tackles both scenarios if you're looking to be in, you know, work in that region, right? So that's, those are the two real good ones in, uh, in Europe. I would also um, consider Dutch citizenship as very exotic. Now, currently, they don't allow dual citizenship in all circumstances. But again, a Dutch passport is the best if, uh, you know, if they had dual citizenship thing open. But uh, if you can't keep dual citizenship, then obviously the other two make a whole lot more sense. Now, let's move focus to uh, Asia. Now, Asia is not known for providing any citizenship, any fast dual citizenship in most countries is prohibited. Um, so the two main picks, two best picks would be um, South Korea. South Korean passport is pretty neat, pretty strong, very good, clean country. Uh, quality of life is um, extraordinary when you talk about South Korea. So South Korea would be number one. Uh, number two would be um, Singapore. A lot of people are very, very fond of the citizenship. One of the most exotic passports, a beautiful looking passport. It's dark red in color and a very good option. So those are the two options in Asia. All right. So that was my assessment and analysis on the best citizenship in every continent. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you disagree with any particular uh, pick, then let me know your thoughts in the comments and um, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And until next time, Take care. Goodbye.